The 1080 is a no-brainer. Its ability to hit 60 FPS at 4K with lots of eye candy in the latest titles. It still displays one of the biggest generational leaps in graphics performance we've seen in a while. But right now, I can definitely recommend this for someone who is into VR. But anyway, clearly the 1080 is absolutely awesome. And we think it will only be a matter of time until we see Pascal architecture, GP 104s, or some uh, derivative of that. In the notebook space. Yeah. So that wasn't long at all since the initial launch of the Pascal GTX 1080. Only three months later, we're now seeing Pascal rolling out into the notebook space. No M after the GPU model name. These are fully enabled GTX 1060s, 1070s, and 1080s inside a gaming notebook. The Z9 Neo by Zalman brings all the right features on a budget. With a large windowed side panel, five included fans, and an excellent interior layout with super simple cable management. Get it now, link in the description below. So Nvidia invited us to London to check out the rollout of Pascal Notebooks and this comes at a very good time with the approaching back to school season. Having the choice between the three Pascal variants, they essentially place the GTX 1060 for light and portable form factor like the Razer Blade, the GTX 1070 is going to be placed in slightly thicker form factor to accommodate for cooling and of course the GTX 1080 is going to be in the largest of notebooks that has the best cooling possible. Performance wise we are told it's going to be within 10% percent of baseline desktop cards which is super impressive and the specs slightly differ to reach power targets so the amount of CUDA cores on the GTX 1080 and 1060 remains the same but with lower clocks for boost and base while the GTX 1070 gets a CUDA core bump with again lower clocks. And now with the specs out of the way, I've always wanted to see a higher refresh rate panel on the notebook. So in the past, I think we were kind of stuck on the 75 Hertz refresh rate. But now with these Pascal notebooks, we're rolling out with an epic 120 Hertz um, displays on notebooks. So that's awesome. I prefer to play on a higher refresh rate over better settings. And I'm sure that many gamers will welcome this feature as well. And the second change is added resolution. Now we have proper native 2560 by 1440p displays on a notebook, which is awesome because it fills that middle gap between 1080 and 4K. That void has been filled. So now you have the option of either 120 Hertz on 1080, uh, middle ground of great resolution for gaming of 1440p or a 4K G-Sync display. Now, given Pascal architecture is much more power efficient than the previous generation Maxwell cards, you now will be able to overclock your GTX 1060, 1070, and 1080 inside your notebook just as you would, or almost just as you would for a desktop card. We actually saw a demo of the GTX 1080 being overclocked past 2 gigahertz and Doom, which is something that I've done with my machine as well here. And the most impressive thing for me was seeing temperatures uh, below um, 80 degrees Celsius at load in a notebook form factor, something that I have not been able to achieve even with my desktop. So overclocking is coming, uh, much higher clock speeds uh, for notebook space than compared to the previous generation of notebook GPUs. And this added performance bump for notebooks is of course a big VR push. Honestly, it was quite refreshing to see a small machine powering these demos instead of the two-way SLI desktops that we've seen in the past. Now, I doubt VR backpacks will hit it off, but I won't be surprised to see portable on-person contraptions with these notebooks. So we received the Asus G752V with the GTX 1070 uh, for testing. So starting off with the 3D Mark V Strike Ultra, the over Clocked results give us better performance than the 980M SLI, uh, while on the CPU front, the 6820HK is decently fast but lags behind a desktop counterpart. Jumping into some games and everyone will be happy with such performance on a notebook. This 1070 is significantly faster than a single 980 and it's quite interesting to see the performance difference between 1080p and 1440p. And finally, battery life has seen an improvement in light use with over three hours while giving us an hour and a half for gaming use, which is not significant bump over previous generations, but still it is improving. 
And so taking all this into account, Pascal for Notebooks is such fantastic news performance-wise, but since they utilize the same cores as the desktop family, which already is in low stock, we do have some concerns over upcoming availability. But we'll be comparing the 10 series GPUs uh, for you know, notebooks versus desktop uh, counterparts, trying to compare apples to apples sort of in order to see what is the performance difference and if uh, it's such a fantastic uh, combination of having so much power in such a thin form factor. But guys, stay subscribed to see all those results. I'm Dimitri with Harvard Canucks. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.